The families of the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attack are yet again speaking out, this time as Saudi Arabia tries to get a lawsuit dismissed that alleges their involvement in that horrific day. News Nation senior correspondent Laura Engel is live for us outside of the courthouse. These families relentless in their quest for justice, and they yet again are not backing down. Not backing down and showing up in a very big way here today, Marnie. In fact, our producer Ava Pittman just came out and was telling me that there are now three court rooms that are filled. Two of them are overflow rooms. Uh, all these people who came to hear this historic day unfold, uh, all members getting uh, this t shirt that was handed out. So everybody inside of the courtroom. Uh, at least has one of these or is wearing one of these uh, as the judge is hearing from both sides in this case. Take a look at this presser uh, that happened just before the family members uh, went into the courthouse today to talk to the judge and listen um, to hear what was going to be going on. The president of 9-11 Justice, that's the name of the group, tells us this is the most significant event they have had in their lawsuit against the Saudi Arabia government as the kingdom tries to get this suit dropped and victims' family members and first responders and the media fight to get this case to trial and to get sealed documents in the case made public so that there is transparency about what the federal government knows about the alleged ties between Saudi Arabia and the terror attacks. Here is a piece from the presser. Listen here. I am the youngest daughter of Dennis Scouso. He was in Hazardous Materials Company 1 out of Queens. He was part of the FDNY. Um, he ran into the buildings just nearby to save people's lives and there's been a hole in our lives for the past 23 years. That phrase, never forget, is here. The FBI recently released never before seen video by a Saudi national, Omar Al Bayoumi, who was the focus for years of investigation by the FBI's San Diego office because of his ties with two of the 9 11 hijackers. In the video, he is heard talking about the U.S. Capitol's entrances and exits and about a quote plan. Families with the 9 11 justice have shared documents with News Nation that they obtained from the investigation, which they say shows there has been evidence that has been sealed, which does in fact show bank and financial transactions that directly ties the terrorists to people who work for the Saudi Arabia government, detailing wire transactions in the months leading up to 9 11. A family members like Brett Eagleson, who lost his dad in the attacks when he was just 15 years old, say they are demanding to know what other evidence the public doesn't know about and wants it all unsealed. That is part of what today's hearing is all about. Now, we don't expect a ruling on this decision today. The judge is very active uh, asking questions from both the Saudi Arabia government's lawyers and from the lawyers for the 9-11 justice. So as we move through this day, uh, we will get more information as it goes along. No ruling today, but we could get to that next step, which is so important for these victims, family members and first responders. Yeah, certainly. All right, Laura, thank you so much for that report.